I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. In today's video, we continue our London update series, this time visiting Savile Row and visiting one of our favorite shoemakers, Gaziano and Gerling. Hey, Tony, it's so great to see you. Thanks for coming in at the shop to say hello to us, and it's uh, you know great to see you, and uh, great to see you actually wearing a, a suit. How has it been going these last you know six months? Uh, the factory has been open now for the last three months. Uh, our shop is open a couple of days a week. London is still quite quiet. But, you know, we're getting an awful lot of orders via email, telephone call, and through our website, people ordering online. So, yeah, we're, we're holding our own. You know, I'm quite happy with the way it's going at the moment. You guys at first started, you know, really exclusively online. I mean, it was kind of a cult shoemaker uh, there kind of around 2007, around the same time we started. Uh, and so the Savile Row shop there in London is actually quite a new phenomenon. So I'd imagine that... You know, unlike a lot of other companies, it really had a very weak online presence and their primary channel was kind of through their shops in London. I mean, you guys had a strong web presence that you were able to fall back on. Yeah, I think, you know, that, that's definitely helped. I think a strong web presence in this climate uh, is an absolute must. I know of similar companies to ourselves that haven't had that strong a web presence that have really struggled uh, when the shops have closed and I haven't been able to bring the customers in. Uh, they're find, finding it really tough, but you know, we've also got a very, very strong relationship with most of our clients, you know, and we've, you know, we're on the phone, we're over email, we're making Zoom calls, um, you know, and, and we've come up with, you know, quite a few things that have helped us get around, you know, this tough period. I mean, one of the things that's kind of uh, really kind of surprised me is that, you know, you guys were able to remain uh, pretty active. I mean, you and Dean continuing your bespoke work, you know, from home, you know, even whenever the factory was closed. And then, you know, throughout all this, I mean, you've been able to launch several new styles of shoes. You know, through the lockdown period, actually, I found that I, that, that I was so busy, I couldn't fit enough in, into the day. You know, it was a great opportunity to uh, catch up. As, as you know, we're always trying to catch up in these days, and uh, it was a good opportunity to catch up on a lot of work and complete a lot of customers' bespoke orders. Uh, but it was, it was also a great opportunity to start to develop and create new shoes really getting people's interest and, and getting them to come and order from us. I think, you know, when you look online um, over the, the last few weeks, you know, you see that we're continuously adding new styles into our stock uh, program, which we have online. You know, we're trying to entice customers by offering 20% off of all made to order and ready to wear shoes. Um, you know, and we're, we're uh, coming up with new styles to kind of stir their imagination as well. I mean, I see you've got a collection of shoes right there. I mean, are those some of these new styles? Yeah, they are. As you can see here, uh, this, this one's called the Bletchley. It's a double monk. Very, very simple, very traditional, soft square toe last. Part of our new classic range. And we've kind of brought that into our online shop as a ready-to-wear purchase uh, in both kind of black and, uh, and this kind of marble brown effect. So, you know, uh, the, you know, these are shoes that people can order straight away. And of course, I mean, this is, this is uh, you know, the classics collection, which is kind of the, um, you know, kind of a new collection of shoes that are slightly more accessible. And so what is, I mean, the retail price point of these is really quite reasonable considering that they're made in the same factory um, as the rest of your shoes. Yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're approximately around about 600 pounds. You know, they are, they're still made with oak bark soles. It's an awful lot of shoe for, for the money, you know, because they're, uh, all the materials that go into them are very similar, that we've just basically don't put quite as much handwork into the product as what we put into our, uh, uh, into our standard line. Absolutely, that's a beautiful double monk. Now, what else, I see some other casuals. Are those two slippers I see? So we've added these two casuals to our regular range. This one is called the Como, a younger style on our Deco Square last. Um, and this is a made to order shoe. So customers basically can go online and order it in, in suede, in alligator, a lot of different colors. Um, and it's, it's a very young, contemporary style. And then alongside that at the same time, just to balance it out, you know, we come out with a very 
old classic style, which is a cap toe with a band. Uh, this one's called Ashby, made in with the, the Margot patina, which is all hand painted. It's a beautiful burgundy. Yeah, no, it is. It's actually very similar to the color that we made for uh, Prince Charles. We made him that pair of shoes. So this one is obviously falls into a different ballpark to the Como because this one can be used as a business shoe, having a toe cap. Um, and, and it's actually taken from a uh, very, very old style dating back into the 1940s. I mean, those are two juxtapositions there. I mean, you've got, you know, kind of that fashion forward, you know, hand sewn vamp, square, slightly kind of square chiseled deco last next to, um, you know, a beautiful kind of classic city loafer, uh, really. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, we put that on the soft square toe last and, uh, you know, once the hem of your trouser is over it, you know, it becomes a quite a smart, dressy casual. And is that again made to order on the website? Made to order as well, yeah. You know, you guys are really quick and nimble, and so it allows you to have a really wide range of styles uh, that are uh, that can be commissioned through a made to order program uh, that are really finished quite quickly, uh, versus having to have this huge stock and inventory of shoes. Uh, so it really allows a much kind of more creative, larger portfolio of models, doesn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's uh, you know we're actually. In the autumn, in a, in a few weeks' time, we're probably going to be launching another three styles. Really? Okay. We have a huge amount of flexibility with how we can create, how we can present, because we don't have to put everything in stock. Well, you guys really encourage that, I mean, especially like with the patina service, you know, kind of taking it to the next level. I mean, it's not like your, your factory is so large and you're doing these huge production runs, you know, that to do a one-off, you know, totally messes everything up. I mean, you guys are really tooled uh, to make individual pairs of shoes specifically for the customer. Yes, exactly. And I think that's, what's, that's one of the things that's kept us going through uh, COVID as well, is that uh, you know, customers, they get great enjoyment out of really kind of personalizing uh, the shoe rather than having to have it how yeah. a company presents it. You know? So yeah. it's, uh, uh, it's a great tool. And uh, yeah. it's the closest thing really of going bespoke without having to actually go bespoke. Well, and the challenge with bespoke in this environment right now is that bespoke is all but ground to a halt because, you know, if you can't go see, I mean, unless you have a completely developed last that you can just make a pair of shoes on, uh, anyone that's still kind of getting to that first pair is still working through some adjustments. Uh, you know, all those projects, I mean, I would imagine have been completely shelved. Is that right? Been a portion of it. I mean, uh, a lot of customers have been, uh, uh, you know, generous enough to place repeat orders uh, on Bespoke in order to support us. But the guys that want to come in and get measured, we just can't see them. And the same, you know, with fittings, it can be a little bit more flexible. You know, some customers, uh, especially US customers, have been quite happy to do a Zoom fitting um, and, uh, and we can move the project on in that way. Uh, but definitely the Bespoke is the side of our business that has slowed down quite a lot because of the restrictions of COVID. So that's amazing. So you guys have actually been able to leverage Zoom to do uh, remote bespoke fittings. That's amazing. If the fitting was very complicated, we'd probably leave it until we meet the guy in person. Uh, but if, if there were small issues with the fitting, then we, it, it tells us enough that we need to do to kind of move it on to the next stage. So ah, Splendid. Well, what's the last one we have right there? The, uh... This is called the Wren. Very, very contemporary style. So it's basically a hole cut. Uh, with a, a skin stitch hand sewn feature which goes uh, across the center of the shoe, a square facing on the top of, of the eyelet and made in uh, a conquer patina. And is, is that a model that you uh, kind of designed yourself? Yes it is, yeah. yeah. Basically it's a, a hole cut and then that feature is, is um, kind of stitched into the leather. A lot of people have loved this type of hand stitching um, over the years. I mean, it's the same type of hand stitching you would get on a Norwegian derby which goes around the front of the shoe or, or, a, or a more casual shoe which goes around the front of the shoe. You know, we, we, we kind of looked at it and we thought, well, you know, how different, you know, in what different ways can we use this stitching? So uh, we decided to, to take the cut of a traditional Oxford, which is basically that shape, and instead of layering one la layer of leather on another and machine stitching it, we just hand stitched it uh, across the center. So, uh, you know, it, it's turned out it's a beautiful shoe. It's very kind of yeah. Um, yeah. very deco style. This is part of our yeah. deco range as well. 
So have you seen a client preferences change much? I mean, people are spending more time at home, maybe they're not going to work. Uh, I mean, are clients continuing to kind of order uh, the same types of shoes that they were, say, maybe a year ago? Or do you see them being more creative and adventurous since they have more time to kind of stay at home and tinker? Or are they shifting to slightly more casual models? Have you seen uh, any kind of clear changes there? People are definitely kind of going into less lace-ups. Uh, more, more kind of slip-on shoes that uh, they, can, they can wear uh, maybe in warmer countries without socks and a crop trouser. You know, loafers that are, are kind of light, but they still want the quality. So, um, you know, and that's where, where kind of these guys come in. Um, I mean, we even have another guy here, which is called Bruges. Very, very traditional Belgium slipper stroke shoe, but it's a fully welted shoe. You know, a lot of the time this shoe comes with a shorter last, a broad round toe, but we wanted to make it into more, a little bit more elegant. So it can be uh, worn in different ways. So we you know we put a nice soft square toe on that. We made this uh, proportion a little bit longer. And in this case, we've made it in, uh, in, a, in a chestnut uh, Mississippi alligator skin, um, you know, which which adds an extra, uh, you know, another element of casual feel to the to the shoe. Well, you've had a, I mean, a, a surprising amount of kind of activity, you know, over the last six months. I mean, as you look forward, uh, do you have more projects that you are working on that are kind of uh, in development right now that we can look forward to? Yeah, we have a huge, uh, huge amount of uh, products in um, uh, in work at the moment. One is. Uh, uh, is, a, is a new sole that we're working on uh, with some new upper leathers which really targets um, the more casual side of footwear uh, but instead of outsourcing it like a lot of other factories do we're actually going to make the whole thing in-house um, so that's probably going to be released maybe towards the end of this year what type of construction? I mean, is it a Blake or? No, it's, a, it's all Goodyear welted construction. Uh, it's all hand lasted, the, the, the materials and everything. Uh, what's unique about it is, is that it's, it's, it's a sole type that we haven't worked with before. Uh, it's actually a pure rubber sole rather than a rubber composite, which most rubber soles are made from. It has a super comfortable uh, feel to it and uh, you know, it's and, and also it, it, it's something that we're going to add to made to order line. So uh, custom, customers can then get creative themselves of how they want this shoe to look like rather than us dictate to them, you know, what it's going to look like. So we're quite excited about that. Well, Tony, it's, uh, it's great to see that you guys are uh, cracking along so well. I'm uh, happy to see uh, everyone kind of back to work and that the factory is operating and that you guys are continuing to do what you guys do best, which is to make absolutely exceptional uh, Goodyear welted leather dress shoes. So uh, thanks for taking a little bit of time for us, I guess. You know, the best way for people to stay in touch, of course, is Instagram, at Gaziano Gerling, and then uh, Gaziano and Gerling dot, you know, dot com dot co dot uk. And then I suppose anyone that's interested in placing an order, uh, is the website the best way to, to really move forward, or can they still call the shop? I think probably the website or the inquiries email, which uh, they can use through the website. There's obviously a 20% discount going on there at the moment on all made to order and uh, ready to wear, which you know won't be stay on forever. So, but yeah, any questions outside that in, inquiries at gazianogirling.com. Hey, well, Tony. Hey, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time for us and just checking in to let us know how you're doing. And you know, hopefully, we're able to um, you know share drink soon again together uh, once we're all able to travel again. Yeah. No, I look forward to it, Kirby. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Thank you, Tony. All right. Take care. Thanks very much. So that was great. So let me know what you think. If you uh, like this video, give us the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Of course, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you have any messages to send to Tony and Dean, of course, uh, you know, they uh, will read them in the messages of this video. Uh, so please do let them know. Uh, if you don't follow Gaziano and Gerling uh, on Instagram, please do. It's at Gaziano Gerling. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm at at Kirby Allison. Uh, and it's probably the best way to stay up to date uh, really with uh, anyone and how they're doing. Uh, and certainly this day and age. If you haven't had an opportunity to visit KirbyAllison.com, we of course are also still open for business and uh, would love to help uh, you take care of all your luxury garment care and luxury shoe care needs 
course, it is how we support this channel and it's how we support going to visit uh, these guys in London. And so uh, please do take a moment, browse our catalog and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. If you haven't seen our Gaziano and Girling factory tour, it's one of our most watched videos and we walk through their entire process and how they make a pair of luxury Goodyear welted leather dress shoes. Uh, it's one of my favorites and it is uh, tremendously uh, informative about how that process is actually done. Of course, I'm Kirby Allison and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thank you for watching.